So on this show, I have reviewed, like last week, I reviewed a bunch of monsters from Dragonlance, and I had this like little bit of head math that I was using to evaluate monsters. And I had a bunch of people that said, what is that? Like, where are you coming up with these numbers? Where do they come from? You bring, you bring up these things, where does it come from? So first of all, I, th- I would talk about what those numbers are. When I am baselining a monster, when I'm looking at a monster thinking, how much damage does it do? How many hit points does it have? And I have this sort of thing that's based on its challenge rating. Where is that coming from? Well, the, the, if you want the numbers themselves, I have them in the Lazy DMs Companion on page four under a section called Improvised Statistics. And the idea here is what are the statistics you would come up for for a creature or an object or some threat, whatever it is, uh, that you came up with on the fly. And it's all based on whatever the challenge rating is. So you start off by what challenge rating does this thing have and then you add your statistics to it. You've noticed that I don't really talk about armor class or DC or attack bonus most of the time. I'm really focused on two two elements to it hit points and damage output those are the two things i pay attention to the reason why is that armor class isn't really something that follows challenge rating armor class really just makes sense for whatever the monster is if it's a great big flabby zombie it's gonna have an ac of eight if it is a you know huge golem armored and with a shield it could have 20 or 22 or even more the armor the armor class is based on the story of the monster and could go all over the place even if it's a great big huge flabby zombie it could be a giant flab zombie CR 22. It could be a giant, like it's a great big, terrible zombie and still have an AC of eight, right? It would be hit points. That would, that would, that would matter. You could, so, so armor class can go up and down regardless of the challenge rating and DCs and attack bonuses, not quite as much, but most of the time I don't have to worry about DCs and attack bonuses being way off. There's lots of calculations that go into it. Only rarely do I come into a monster where it's attack bonus is really out of place for its challenge rating. An example where that is the case are the star elves, the astral elves in Play, and Spelljammer, I just ran them. They have a very low attack bonus for the amount of damage they do and for the CR of their of their attack. It's really weird. It's plus three, but it's really easy to fix. And that's a rare, it's rare for that to be as off as, as other things are. But the two that are, in my opinion, are often off are hit points and damage. And to me, it's very simple. How much damage should a monster be doing? In my opinion, generally, seven damage per challenge rating up to CR 19, CR 20 and above, probably 10 damage per CR. That's the math. And here I only talk about seven damage per CR, which really seven to 10 isn't a big deal when you get to CR 20, but that's about as much damage as I expect a monster to put out. Hit points, 15 to 20 per challenge rating. Again, depends on how much in the improvised statistics here, I come up with 20 per CR. That is definitely one approach. And so a way that if you want to dissect that math and be like, yeah, sure, Mike, but seven per challenge rating for damage output and 15 to 20 hit points per damage for, per CR for hit points. But where did that come from? Well, so it, it, a few different places. One, it came from the Dungeon Master's Guide. The Dungeon Master's Guide has descriptions of challenge rating and what has, what, how much damage you have at different challenge ratings, dissecting that. But also Paul Hughes, who's the author of the Level Up 5e Monstrous Menagerie, has done a lot of work doing two things, looking at the Dungeon Master's Guide math and dissecting the monsters that exist inside the Monster Manual and other monster books. And he has come up with general math and equations that I simplified a little bit on how much damage, what, what can you expect a monster to be roughly doing? And his changes a little bit up, you know, it's like one, three, five, eight, and 10 for zero, an eighth of a CR, a fourth of a CR, half a CR. I didn't bother with those level, levels of, of detail. And then he has five times CR plus five for levels two to seven, and then five times CR for damage at eight. I kicked mine up a little bit. I think actually the damage from CR eight monsters should be a little bit higher than that, which is why I have seven. The five times CR plus five ends up being pretty close to seven. And so that, that figures out. Same thing with hit points. He says 15 times CR plus 15 or 15 CR hit points. That's why I say 15 to 20. A lot of times I think at higher CRs, you're going to need more hit points to account for the fact that the characters have more damage. So for me, the two numbers that I really look at, seven damage per challenge rating for damage output. And again, that could be split among multiple attacks or whatever. And 15 to 20 hit points per challenge rating for the amount of hit points it has. If it has less than that, the monsters are going to be weaker. So when you see me looking at a monster and, and baselining it, and, and you look at some D- D&D monsters, you look at some monsters Wizards of the Coast are putting out, and the numbers are way higher than that. So it's not like I'm picking numbers that are always higher than whatever they choose. They many times are doing damage that's way higher than this, particularly lower challenge le- levels. Lower challenge monsters seem to hit harder 
for their challenge rating than higher CR monsters. And I don't think there's a good reason for that. I think that higher CR monsters should be dishing out more damage because characters have way more ways to handle the damage that they're taking. So I think the damage should actually be going up, not down. You can see in Paul's example here, which I'll link to down in the show notes below, you can see that his challenge rating to, well, basically, first to seventh level are doing an average of five damage per challenge rating higher than the ones that are going eighth and above. Why did the damage go down? His business card, the, the, his math here is based on what they're actually doing in the monster manual. And I just think that's weird. I don't know why monster damage should go down at a higher, the, the ratio should go down at a higher level uh, at, at higher CRs. When we know it's not like characters' ability to take damage goes down. No, their healing spells get better. Their ways to mitigate damage goes better. Their armor class goes way up. Their synergies among characters. You think about paladins with their whole aura of protections. All these different things are making it much harder to do damage. I think the damage should be, that, that ratio should scale up, which is again why I say 10, 10 damage per challenge rating at CR 20 and above. If I were king for a day, that's where I'd be putting it. So you want to know where my math comes from? Check out Paul Hughes's analysis of monster damage. I'll link to a bunch of his articles below. And that's some of some of it's coming from there. Some of it's coming from the Dungeon Master's Guide. Some of it's coming from my own experience. That's where I get those numbers. You want to know what the numbers are? Check out the Lazy DM's Companion. You can pick it up in the Sly Flourish bookstore down below. PDF or physical versions. Beautiful offset printed physical versions. And on page four are the improvised statistics. I think the sample chapter also includes this. So if you want to see what those numbers actually are, they're in the sample chapters, which you can get for free. In the Monstrous Menagerie by Level Up 5e, which I think is an excellent, excellent monster book. If you are looking for something that has monsters that are a little bit more polished than what you will find in the regular standard monster manual, the Monstrous Menagerie by Level Up 5e is a fantastic book. Paul Hughes, who wrote all those articles, was the lead designer on it. Excellent stuff. And the monsters really hit solidly for where you expect. Here is the table that he talks about for the, the, the statistics for monsters by challenge rating. And you can see like the 1,295 hit points, 65 damage, fits the just the basic straightforward math that he was using before. But this actually has the table so you can pick. And let's see, with 10, yeah, that is right, is five plus five. He, he's using the exact same math that he's using in the business card to generate this list. That's what, 16.5? hit points per challenge rating roughly 21 is 330 so yeah right right around there hit points are and the hit points 15 per cr is probably not bad 20 per cr is probably a little bit high it depends on how easy they're hit if they have a lot of defensive capabilities 20 per cr is probably too low but boy lower than 15 and that monster is going to die pretty fast because players have lots of characters have lots of ways to dish out lots of damage if you like the kind of work that i do you will want to subscribe to the sly flourish newsletter where you get a weekly DD related email sent directly to your inbox every week along with a free adventure generator pdf you can support me directly on patreon where you get access to the uncovered secrets volume one and two you get the city of arches source book a bunch of exclusive adventures the dedicated discord channel the patreon q a all kinds of great stuff for becoming a patron of slide very reasonable price you can find the link to that in the show notes below you can also pick up any of my books including return of the lazy dungeon master the lazy dms workbook or the lazy dms companion thank you all very much have a great day and get out there and play some DD.